slow down, take a moment, and relax. Get lost in a world of outdated animation, trippy visual effects, and distorted 80s hits. Submerge yourself in a sea of intense emotion, numbness, and uncomfortability. For those of you familiar with this particular auditory drug, welcome back. If you're new here though, you could be in for one hell of a ride. A great deal of you may have never experienced vaporwave before, since not long ago it was a style of media deeply confined to its own corner of the internet. Yet, through avenues such as Tumblr, Reddit, and YouTube, it's been able to grow as a movement and garner a rather large following. Phrases such as aesthetic and mannerisms like typing with a space between every letter or using full width text in normal conversations have started to crop up all over the internet. Even the music itself has been given more exposure through YouTube channels such as This Exists, Filthy Frank TV, Pyrocynical, and Kaori as well as its recent explosion of popularity in the esports community built around Super Smash Bros. Melee. With all of this recognition, the question arose, can Vaporwave survive as a genre in the mainstream? To help me answer this question, today we will be seeing the initial raw reactions of two individuals new to the genre, to see just how far-fetched it is to imagine such videos, songs, and images populating the billboard charts, advertisements, and TV shows. Without further ado, here's Vaporwave, an aesthetic documentary. Okay, well, my name's Tiffany Rainford. I'm 18. Um, my name is Abraham Matthew, and I'm 18 years old. Music probably takes up about maybe two or three hours of my time a day. I listen to music a lot, like I need music when I do math, I need music to go to sleep, so yeah, I guess a lot of hours. I can't say exactly how much. I haven't heard about the term vaporwave. Well, actually, I don't know anything about vaporwave. I'm scared, actually. I don't know how this will go. Under the Simpsons, I found it disturbing a bit. I don't want to say the second song tripped me up, but I'm pretty sure the video includes it. It just sounds like something you just chill out to. It's it's all trippy. It's it's not exactly like natural. I haven't been more chill in like a good while. Wait, that was the most calming thing ever. Catchy in its own way. I'm just a kid. I'm just a kid. I'm happy. I'm calm. It, it makes you feel happier. It makes you feel better about yourself. It's just a little mistake. It's just a little mistake. It's I guess it's because it's not the kind of music I listen to, but I just felt it too loud, too noisy, and it's not something that I would listen to too often. Yeah, those are the two or three songs I'm trying to remember. The songs I listen to, they sounded not exactly like the organized kind of music that you usually listen to. My mental state right now is I'm gonna just say off focus because I didn't even remember I listened to three songs. I needed you to remind me, but I'm happy. This seems like it will be addicting for me now. 
revision and ultimate stress reliever right now because like I'm stressed all the time so just like listen to one track watch the visuals I hate admitting this but I think I just discovered a new genre I would listen to so like it just makes you feel nostalgic in a way it makes you like look back to the past and like how things used to be rather than everything's like so modern now they were more addictive than I would say most of the other songs there's something about them like about the beat that you hear it's creative in its own way it's unique in its own way it's not the best thing i've heard but then yeah it's, it's something that's worth it if i spend a bit more time in it i might get interested in it like if people get used to it i'm sure they can be a big thing on like tv and radio and stuff hey you've made it to the end two interviews and five songs later i think we've come to our conclusion from what i've gathered it seems that Vaporwave actually has a pretty decent shot at becoming something that the whole world will remember, instead of just a couple thousand people in their own corner of the internet. Before we wrap things up though, I'd really just like to point out that the credits are filled with many, many talented people, and I'll be linking to as many of their pages as I can in the description box below. This has been Vaporwave, an aesthetic documentary. Thank you for watching.